So the way I see it is this, when you have a little kid, I love my kid analogies, when you have a little kid, you're not going to teach him advanced mathematics straight away, you're not going to teach him quadratic equations, you're going to teach him first numbers. This is, this is how you count, this is how you add, this is how you divide, alright, you've learnt that, we'll move on to the next stage, this is yeah. equations or whatever. Agreed. It's all the stages. So God, that's what God in did. In His infinite wisdom, sent His. That's what Allah did. Silly children, us. No, we're not children. We're children because we act like kids. No, we're not we're children. Uh, you just speak for yourself. Yeah. You can, I, I, you can, kid. you I'm can speak kid. for yourself. I'm a big kid. I, I will definitely right. speak for myself. <laughs> so God sent this idiot kid of His knowledge. He sent it in truth. He sent knowledge and truth. He sent it in Buddhism, trying to teach us about being content. Don't chase. Well, Buddhism off. is a philosophy. Oh, no. Don't chase after, everything's a philosophy. No, it's Don't chase after what everyone else wants. Oh, God, be that. content with what God has given you. God has given you so much, but you don't see it because you're too busy looking at what you don't have. So God gave us Buddhism to teach us, remember to be content. He then gave us Judaism. He said, listen, you need to be thankful, regardless of what happens to you, good or bad. At the end of the day, you have to say thank you, God, because it's made me who I am today and it's going to make me better tomorrow and closer to God. Be thankful continuously. Then he sent us Christianity. Once again, I said forgiveness. He taught us to forgive others, but not just others, but, but forgive ourselves. So many times we hold ourselves to these standards and we're like, I can never, I can never get God's love. I'm not a good person. We have to forgive ourselves because God will forgive us. He's that amazing. So if he can forgive us, why can't we forgive ourselves? So we need to forgive ourselves and forgive others. You can't forgive yourself and never forgive anyone else. It, it's a two-way thing. You have to forgive other people and forgive yourself. So you got Christianity. Then he gave us Islam. Like I said, with Islam, he showed us commitment. He wanted to see how committed are you to me as God? Are you going to pray five times a day? Are you going to control your mind so you can control your body? That's why he gave us Islam. And then the last one, he, oh, Hinduism, he gave us for love. These people in Hinduism, they have the idea of the one God, but they love God so much that every aspect of him, the part of him that gives us rain, the part of him that creates life, the part of him that gives us happiness in our families, each part of God, they gave a different name. They started worshiping the aspects. That's not good. They should worship the one, but they love God so much they gave names to every aspect of it. Then you have Sikhism. Sikhism wasn't about teaching you what you should and shouldn't do. It was just teaching you wisdom. Teaching you that God loves you, God will lead you, but you have to be open and you have to do the work as well. God will work as hard as He can, but if you're not working to meet Him halfway, He can't come all the way down, pick you up and say, hey, come into heaven. You need to do the work yourself as well. That's what the wisdom was. When you have that wisdom, you then see that all the religions came from God. Yes, they have cultural differences. Yes, they might be something no. a bit off. But the message is all oh, about working he, your way to God. Here's the, here's the issue with what you said. By the way, everything you just said in that one book, Everything you just said in that one book, okay? No, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second.